What's happening, guys? My name is Jamie, and this is the not. This is a yurt. So we are staying currently in a French yurt, uh, which happens to be really close to the Norfolk Tortoise Club. So uh, today I'm going to show you around the Tortoise Club and uh, we're going to meet some tortoises and show you some of the stuff they're doing and the rescues they've got and all of that cool stuff. So uh, stick about and uh, stick about, stick around and we'll go and have a look at some tortoises. So I've got my veg chopped, I'm gonna go and uh, fry it up, add some pasta, add some sauce, dinner around the fire, and this awesome clearing here, which is so cool. And then we've got the yurt just there, which my wife is currently a little afternoon napping. <laughs> So we've got a group of Horsfield tortoises here, or Russian tortoises. So uh, these are a good sized tortoise, um, really uh, quite a small tortoise, very hardy. Um, so uh, yeah, quite a common tortoise to find in the UK because they can uh, deal with the, uh, the temperature quite well. So waiting inside the uh, indoor greenhouse area, got a big radiated tortoise, they've got a few here really really cool species big big tortoise compared to you know your hermans or your horse field so uh, but these are these are cool i love the shell These guys are probably the most active and definitely the most fun to watch. These are the uh, Ibera Spurfied tortoise group. So I might gather there's like a mix here of uh, male and female. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's really cool to watch them and uh, to watch them try and pick flowers off of that bush as well. It's really cool.
Apparently this one's quite nervous, but this is a Vietnamese box turtle. There you go. Awesome, I love box turtles. Isn't it handy that they all stay by their name plaques? <laughs> it's a very cute little guy. So this is a Herman's group in here. So you can see they've got this whole area here, but look at how much variation and different textures, um, different rocks, bits of terracotta, and all these plants you've got just uh, going on. So you can just take a nibble out of all of that sort of stuff. We've got a bit of grassland here, but over here is where, you know, the rocky sort of terrain is where you'd see them, um, or certainly where I've seen them in videos in the wild. Um, so, uh, but look at that, so cool. And then, obviously, there is just some, let me zoom in. We've got some just lurking there in like the feeding troughs. Uh, and then they're just, uh, yeah, just kind of scattered around there's loads in there I think there's I mean I've seen at least sort of six or seven so I don't know exactly how many are in there I should have asked so something that I've seen in almost all of these enclosures are old fish tanks um, and actually if you look they're actually inside them they're using them so they've acted as like little greenhouses which really boosts the temperature uh, they got any around here they've got some here these are like um, what are they called cold frames, I think, for plants. But then they've got glass panels here and here. So uh, yeah, they've all got fish tanks, old fish tanks, um, and that's something that I haven't actually done at home. So although Daisy's got a basking spot, uh, linear UVB, and all that sort of stuff indoors, maybe this is something that I can put outside. Um, just get an old, an old cracked fish tank. You can find them for free um, on Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that. I'll put it in there. I might even have an old exoterra I could use. Um, and uh, yeah, it just helps to boost those temperatures. So uh, that's definitely uh, it's definitely something I'm going to do when I get home. And I'm also going to plant a load of this as well. Because these guys, although these aren't Hermans, but these guys absolutely love the flowers on these. So uh, I'm definitely going to uh, try and get some when I get home and uh, plant some, some up in uh, Daisy's Run. And I think I'm actually going to change Daisy's Run up in terms of adding a little bit more texture of stuff i know i've got obviously the the path and i've got some big slate but uh yeah i think i could do do a bit more so uh i have to have a look and see what's going on maybe even find some more big slate stones and stuff like that um but yeah it's definitely given me inspiration to uh to maybe rethink some of the stuff that daisy's got uh, at home look at that spur fire over there that's so cool Big old girl. Oh. So cool. Beautiful shells on some of these as well. Poor old Daisy. Hasn't got the best shell, bless her. So we're back home. We've got Daisy outside. Purchased some lavateria on the way home, which I've repotted in some... Uh, just some nice organic uh, compost for the meantime just you know let that cycle through uh, and a cheeky little fuchsia as well back there which they can have in moderation but they'll be going cheap so I brought a couple um, look at this look at this cactus almost swore there. I'm so excited about these cactus their pads are just going mad but um, anyway so uh, I'm gonna round this video up here so thank you very much for watching this video guys, uh, I hope you found it useful, um, it was really cool seeing um, the Tortoise Club and if you could uh, help in any way I'll put a link down below to donate to them to help all the rescue tortoises uh, and if you want to support my channel in any further please hit the like button, subscribe um, and follow me on Instagram and check me out on Patreon if you want to go down that route as well. Thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next video.